Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel, Alexander Zed. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I started a t-shirt printing business from ground zero. Living in an apartment, to having no space, to being able to make it profitable enough, to move into a house and take over the garage. Everything I print is online, mostly on Etsy. I do have a website as well, but I'm going to show you guys this process and uh, yeah man, how it got me to where I am. So the reason I started the t-shirt business in the first place was because I went through a divorce. And after the divorce, my normal job didn't pay me enough to be able to pay all of the bills. In fact, for a while, I had to start selling personal belongings just to be able to pay rent. It was a rough time. So I started the t-shirt business on the side. I would stay up late after my kids went to bed and I would start creating designs and putting them up online, primarily on Etsy. Now originally when I first started, I did not have my own equipment to print on my own, nor did I have the time because I was working my normal job and taking care of kids. So I started using fulfillment service providers like Printful and Printify. Now these companies worked really good for me at the time. And I kept doing this until I made enough money, enough sales that I could justify going full time and buying my own equipment so I could do it from home. Now, I was living in a tiny apartment, so this was quite the challenge. <laughs> my, my dining area got turned into a little print shop, and it did the trick to get started. So I started in November of 2017. So in the year of 2018, you can see that I made a little bit of revenue. I had a little over $6,000, well, almost $6,500, a decent amount of visits, some orders, and for getting started, that was pretty good considering I needed any money I could get my hands on. In 2019, near the end of summer, I decided it was time to start buying my own equipment as I was starting to get a decent amount of sales. Now the year of 2020, that was a big year for me. I revenued $215,000. That was a lot more than the previous years. You can see if I go to 2021, I still maintained a good revenue, not quite as much, but still in those six figures and 188,000, I was pretty excited. I knew I was on to a solid business model. I dug high and low, looking through all of my backups, trying to find some footage or pictures of me when I was in my apartment before I moved out into my house, because it was insane. It was so cluttered. I found these two pictures that I can share. It's literally all I have. You can see this one wall here just uh, with this shelving just full of inventory. That was in one of the walls in the main living area in the apartment. And um, this picture here is the first printer that I bought. It was a FreeJet 330TX. And that's what I started my business with. This was all in that tiny apartment. I, if, I wish I had more content. Hopefully by the end of the video, I will find some more and put it there. But for now, that's all I got. Okay, I did find some good footage though after I moved into the house and my business really started to take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that footage right now. Here's the new printer. Working alongside that printer. This one is a little bit better of a printer. Shirts printed today. Got 60 of them here. Need to be doing more than that though. Keep press. Inventory got in. Inventory, 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 inventory. Underneath inventory, <laughs> underneath inventory. There's our pre-treatment machine. It was a pretty exciting time for my business to be taking off like it did. I was super excited, I was super grateful, but let's take a look at how it was compared to how it is today. So now I have two of those Ricoh printers. I replaced that old blue printer, that FreeJet 330TX, but I got both of these printers here that I have running and got some lovely fish. Uh, here's the garage now. Before I had that heat press right here, now I have some boxes of inventory and I've got a lot of racks 
and a lot more variety of different things that I carry. My garage is absolutely a disaster. It's super filled up. Here's where I package up shirts for shipping and that same pre-treat machine, which has worked like a butte. Here's that wall still that you saw in the previous video, but now I got these racks and hangers here. I got two of these heat presses now, 15 or 16 by 20 heat presses. Um, more stuff just everywhere, lots of inventory. So quite the transformation. The t-shirt business has been great. It has really upgraded my life and done a lot of things for me, but I'm telling you now there's one big drawback. It is a ton of work. I was working all day, every day during my busy times. And I didn't get time to spend with my kids. I was worn out and I would always get sick after every busy season because I was literally working all the time. After busy season, my body would be like, okay, you're done, freaking. I swear my body would make me get sick just so I would stop and rest. It like had to force me to do it. So if you're looking to start a t-shirt business, I highly recommend think about that. You can expand your business to a point where you start hiring people and they work for you, but then you have more responsibility. You have employees you're having to keep an eye on. It still just envelops your entire life. So if you love it, then do it because you'll be doing it all day, every day. And it can be a lot of fun. There was a lot of reward in doing what I was doing, but it is a ton of work. So actually I've been working on transitioning what I'm doing with my life. I've throttled back on the t-shirt business and I'm working on some new endeavors, uh, looking at some new things that are gonna potentially increase my freedom so I have more time with my kids and uh, hopefully increasing my income as well. So if you're looking to start a t-shirt business, I would follow the exact process that I used because it worked and it was successful for me. To recap what I did, I basically started an Etsy store. I opened up an Etsy shop. It only costs 20 cents to create a listing. So you can take your artwork, upload it onto Etsy, start creating your listings, and there's no upfront cost. And if you use a, a fulfillment service like I did as well, like Printful or Printify, you just connect that, you go open up a, a, an account with one of those companies, those, those, those providers, it, can connect, it will connect to your Etsy store and when your order comes through, it will automatically sync with them and they will fulfill the order for you. This way, you don't have to buy a bunch of hardware and worry about overhead and, and all that a lot of junk to start off. So you do need to be an artist or you need to find an artist who will create your t-shirt designs. It's best if you're an artist though, because that way you don't have to pay somebody for designs that may not sell. If you're creating the designs on your own, it's your own time, you're not spending money on an artist, you go put the listings up, if they sell, great. If they don't, no big deal, no loss. The only thing you lost was some of your time. But even then it's not lost because you got more experience and you learn more and chances are you're doing product research to figure out what is selling online. Now, get your web store put together on Etsy, get it synced with Printful or Printify, start trying to, to in, increase traffic and get some orders, get some revenue. When you get your business to a point where it's making enough money, then if you want to expand your business into getting your own equipment, you can. Now, there are a, there's a downside to that and there's a positive side to that. The positive is you can start meeting deadlines for people. For example, if somebody says, hey, can you get this order to me by this weekend or by a certain day? If you're printing on your own, you can make that promise because you can go grab that shirt right now and you can go print it and ship it off. If you're dealing with a fulfillment service, you are limited to their time frame, their production flow, and that can be really difficult. You can't make promises to people. You just have to say, hey, it should be here within a certain time frame, but I can't guarantee when. You also gain the ability to print local orders. So if somebody comes to you like a business or just a, like a family reunion or something, and they're like, hey, I need 50 shirts, you're like, sick, I can print all those for you, I got it all here, and your profit margin is gonna be really high compared to if you're using a fulfillment service. So some benefits to keep in mind if you're gonna print on your own. But I would not recommend investing in any, any equipment until your Etsy store has taken off and is doing really, really well. Now, you could open up your own web store on like Shopify or Wix or something. Shopify is what would always be recommended. <clears throat> and you can also connect Printful and Printify to those as well, or you can fulfill on your own. But if you're gonna open up your own website, you have to bring your own traffic. And that can cost a lot of money experimenting with ads and whatnot. If you use Etsy, you're getting all the traffic from them 
for not really free because they do charge you you know, transaction fees and whatnot, but that definitely is worth it in my opinion because you can get an insane amount of traffic on Etsy if you have the right listings in front of the right audience. There is a ton of information online. There are a ton of YouTube videos that you can go watch that will teach you how to create listings on Etsy, how to do keyword research, how to find good products, what's selling, what's trending, and etc. So it's just up to you to start jumping into it, doing some product research, Make sure you have Photoshop, create some t-shirt designs, throw them on your Etsy store, be synced up with Printful or Printify, they ship out your order for you, and bang, you're starting to make some money. It just takes time, effort, and a willingness to move into something new. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informational. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up so it moves it up in the algorithm. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel as I will be periodically uploading more vlog videos like this. Appreciate you guys. and We'll see you next time. Peace out.